Hi, this is Jenny Lesko here. I'm here at Con Expo in the Generac booth. And today we are with Gerald Harford. And we're going to take a look at the, what is it? The, the uh, MLT6SMD. Okay. So, and the nomenclature on that is Magnum Light Tower, 6KW, and then it's D for LED lighting, which is brand new for us this year. Okay. Yes. What can you tell me about this product? Well, it's new for us in a couple of different ways. We've got a, a vertical mass light tower that we've taken from our traditional light tower mm -hmm. and then uh, incorporated into now with LED lighting. So the beauty of this one is the efficiency of an engine running with a generator to not worry about wet stacking being underloaded with LED lighting, but it also gives you the option of running up to 1800 RPM and getting your normal output, basically a 5kW generator with clean power at the end of it. With the LEDs, you're at 240 watts per draw, per amp, so, or per, uh, per light. So you've got that savings, uh, the efficiencies of uh, running more efficiently, of eight, up to 80% less of fuel consumption and power draw. Okay. So, yeah. So right. that's why we have that variable speed motor drawing less power. You risk the chance of having a generator and an engine mirroring up and not working correctly. And then you get issues of underutilization and what's called wet stacking in the industry. At wet stacking is the load sensor. Thank you. So you've got that echo speed engine, which will run at 1200 RPM, powering the 24 volts that go up to light the LEDs up above. If you need external power or exporting power, you plug in your extension cord or your tools here. We have a load sensor that automatically ramps up the unit, senses the load that's being required, ramps up to 1800 RPM, giving you the 60 hertz of power that you need for the clean power coming out of here. 5,000 watts of voltage regulated power, plus or minus 1%. So basically you are towing a generator that happens to have some lights. We've got an auto um, setting or a manual setting. Right now we're in manual, but the feature of the power zone, if you want auto, you have, can put it into the auto setting. Whoop. And what I'm doing now is you can control to have it start either through a scheduler or you can do a light sensor on here, so a dusk to dawn setting. So the power zone enables you to place this out in the field and have it run remotely, either through an auto start system of timed or through a dusk to dawn sensor from daylight to uh, evening.